So hi everyone, welcome back to this second video of the Kazakhstan ration, 24 hour military ration. This is breakfast, this is the label and it says control breakfast in Russian. So what have we got for breakfast? We've got a couple of tins, this one's dented but not split or leaking. My translator can't make anything of this. And the same as this one. This is the can that my translator said had strawberry flavoured rat in it. So this is going to be interesting. My isn't translator it? cannot do anything with it. So we're going to pop those open and take a look. And we're going to do that right now. Let's start with the smaller one. Okay, we all know what that is. This does not look like strawberry flavoured rat. So I think I'm safe to carry on. Hmm, that is uh, vegetable caviar. It's a rich tomato sauce aroma with aubergines. And no doubt it's got other beautiful things in it. So that stays cold. We'll put that over there. And then this is quite heavy. So we can get this open. Right. Not sure what that is. It smells of beef. It's got a lovely beef smell. I love these smells. It's got a lot of fat in it, as you can see. So we're going to tip this out into here. My knife to help get that out. Actually, this looks like kasha. Yeah, look. Let's get that all out into the bowl. See that dent in there? Mm. Yeah, so we know what this is. You can eat this cold. I'm going to warm it up. It's basically buckwheat with uh, beef. So I'm going to go and heat that up. All right then, while that's heating up, let's see what else we've got here. We have got the army crackers. A little bit worse for wear there. Look at that. Wow. Punched up. Oh dear me, dear me. Look at those. That probably happened when the can got bashed. Big pile of crackers there. Mildly salty. A bit flowery, but not unpleasant. A bit bland. But I should think they're going to go really well with the vegetable caviar. Got three sugars. Well, I don't usually take sugar. And a tea. So let's prepare the tea. We will put this over here to brew. Let's get some biscuits that aren't crushed. Put them out there. And we'll try this jam, if it is a jam. Just looking to see if it's got any tear slits, and I don't think it has. So I'll use my Fat Max. Okay, it's like a jelly. Oh, there we go. Don't seem to get much. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. I think in America they call it apple butter. It's just like a compote. It's very nice.
And then of course we've got the caviar. Mmm. Wow, that is good. Mmm. This is not like the Russian vegetable caviar. Not at all. This is stronger, spicier, it's more like a salsa. Mmm. That's good. That's really fresh tasting and warming. My goodness, it's got some spice in it. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Complete, completely different to the Russian one. I can still feel it on my throat. Got a lovely peppery burn to it. Lovely. Okay, let's try this tea. It's quite a nice colour. I see the tea's a bit bland. I mean, it's tea, but it's a bit bland. I think I'll add the sugar to that. And if I'm going to have it, we'll have it sweet. I'll probably do the same for every other meal we have with this. Yeah, it's now a sweet tea. It's now better. I can't stop going on about this. This is brilliant. Oh, it smells fantastic. Vegetable caviar, Kazakhstan style. 10 out of 10. Right, let's go and get the uh, kasha. Oh, I'm going to tip this out. Oh, it's hot. Onto my tray. We've got the buckwheat, beef. That's, I think that's all it is. It's hot. If you've had kasha before, this is kasha. If you haven't had it before, it's really hard to explain what kasha is. It's obviously bits of beef with buckwheat, like uh, uh, almost lentils in it. So you get the wheaty flavour come through and then you bite into the piece of beef and you get a beef supplement to that wheat flavour. Mm. It feels a little fatty on the tongue and in the mouth. The palate's nice. Not too salty. Canned. It seems a little grainy at times. But of course that is the buckwheat. Well I can understand why it's called porridge. So I'm going to try some of this and some of this together. Oh yeah, that's it. That's what it's about. Mm. Oh goodness. They're really good. Sweet tea, not my thing normally. But it just goes well. So I really could not tell you what is in here. So I don't know what's in here. But it is delicious. That would be fabulous with some Doritos. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously it's got tomatoes in it, it's got onions in it, it's got what looks like carrots in it, it's probably got peppers in it, and other things besides. 
delicious. And we're looking at this porridge, buckwheat porridge. Got chunks of beef, some smaller, some larger. Mm. Everything's as if it's slow cooked, it's so soft and tender. And of course this will go just as well with the crackers. Mm. This is a really nice breakfast. I cannot say anything negative about this breakfast. I mean, obviously I can because my crackers are all smashed up. But the flavours, the textures, it's all good. I mean, the tea was a bit bland, but the sugar soon sorted that out. Would I like it if I was out in the field and I got it day after day? Probably not. But that could be my Western palate. It is a little bit greasy, you know, a little bit fatty. You can, you can taste the fat. But as a... Russian taster, someone who likes to try different foods. I love it. It's brilliant. Right, well I've said enough. I'm going to get stuck into this. Have a good old hearty breakfast here. Get on with the rest of my day. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. As you can see, I finished it all except for one army cracker. It was delicious. Please do and come and join me for lunch. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you are. Cheers.